Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the defrost heater in a Whirlpool refrigerator. It's going to be very easy repair. Should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a quarter inch nut driver, a pair of needle nose pliers, and a utility knife. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new defrost heater. This defrost heater is located inside the freezer behind the rear cover panel. When energized by the defrost control board, the defrost heater melts the frost off of the evaporator coil, preventing it from being iced up. If the temperature inside the fresh food section is way above normal and the freezer is warmer than usual and there is heavy frost on the rear cover panel in the freezer, check and replace the defrost heater if needed. To get to the part, we need to open the freezer door. Next, I'm going to take out the ice bin and slide out the glass shelf. Next, I'm removing the ice maker assembly. We need to take out this uh, quarter inch uh, screw at the bottom using a quarter inch nut driver. And now we need to take a couple of more screws uh, at the top of the ice maker. And one is right there, and the other one is right there. I'm going to support the ice maker. I'm not taking that screw out completely. And now we're going to remove it from the screw, the ice maker. Lift it up and out. And put it down. And uh, next, we need to disconnect the plug here. There's a locking tab. I'm opening it and pulling the plug. Now I'm going to take out this screw. This is also quarter inch. I'm going to use the uh, same quarter inch nut driver. And I'm going to remove the panel. So the next step, I'm going to take off this cover panel. Two quarter inch screws, one in each corner. I'm using a quarter inch nut driver. And we're going to take them out. And now I'm going to remove this cover panel. Lift it up. And now we can take it out. Next, I'm going to remove this uh, ground wire clip. Put it down. Next, I'm going to take out this uh, couple of quarter inch screws using the quarter inch nut driver. Now I can remove this uh, rear panel. I'm going to lift it up slightly and tilt it forward. So we can disengage that the bottom, the air tower bottom. Okay, I'm gonna lay it down. All right, now I'm gonna unplug this uh, light bulb connector. This is a tab here. I'm gonna pull it up and pull it apart. And now we're gonna remove the panel. So the defrost heater we are replacing is located right there. It's an L shape and goes underneath and on the left side. So we need to get to it and uh, I will remove this air ducts first by pulling it straight out. Shake it side to side. Number one. And number two. Next, I'm going to take off this uh, green ground wire that is attached to the heat shield on the left side of the WAP coil. Next, I'm going to slide out this uh, foam barrier. Now, if it breaks, like in this case, don't panic. Uh, we're going to place it back in later. So, this is our heater plug, and we need to disconnect it, but uh, uh, you see the tape here, and uh, put it like a safety tape. And we're going to use this uh, knife, and we're going to slice it off. Be careful, don't slice anything else. Remove the tape, 
And now we're going to unplug this. There's a tab right there. And lift it and pull the plug apart. All right, I'm going to bend this inward just like that. All right, so I'm going to repeat the procedure on the left side and bend it. Now I'm going to lift up on the coil, grab it here in the corner, up, and it comes off the hook. So we're going to slightly bend it. So also grab it on the left side here and lift up slightly and unhook it also. All right, next I'm going to bend this tubing out. So we need to bring the evaporator coil a little bit out. Do not attempt to do anything here at this joint. Only copper tubing. And grab it and bend it. Okay, so that would be enough. All right, so all this bending was uh, done for one purpose, to expose this bracket on this side and uh, same bracket type on the opposite side. So using the needle nose pliers, I'm going to bend it so we can free the heater. And now we go to the other side and I'm going to bend this tab. And now we're going to remove the heater. Slowly release the evaporator coil. Don't drop it. This is the old defrost heater next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. All right, so I'm going to bring in a new defrost heater and we're going to start installation. I'm going to place these uh, side in. I'm going to bend the tab and we're going to continue with the uh, middle nose pliers. And I'm going to switch the sides. And I'm going to bend this, the front tab. I'm going to bend this copper tubing back inwards. And I'm going to bend this. So I'm going to lift up on this side. I'm going to press it in and hang it. Same thing on this side. I'm going to first make sure that the plug is outside. And I'm going to push this coil in and down. So it's hooked up at the back. Now I'm going to connect this plug. Push it in. Make sure it's locked. I'm going to connect this uh, ground wire. I'm going to clip it on. Just like that. As a result of our operation, we have some uh, aluminum fins bent. So if you do have also, use the pliers so you can use the uh, flat glass screwdriver and uh, straighten them up. And a few here and there. All right, All right there. You got the idea. Next, I'm going to install the air ducts. And let's slide it in. Make sure that it goes all the way in. Now we're going to install this uh, foam barrier. And slide it in. We're going to bring in this. Uh, cover panel and we're going to plug in this harness 
otherwise we're not going to have light in the freezer. And we're going to bring up the panel and install it. We're going to place this uh, button on first. That's our air towel. Air towel goes over that uh, foam duct. And let's bring it up. So we're going to secure it with a couple of uh, quarter inch screws. I'm using the same quarter inch nut driver. Now we're going to install this uh, ground wire clip on, slide it and press it on. And now I'm going to install this uh, cover panel and I'm going to use the quarter inch nut driver and we're going to secure it with a couple of uh, quarter inch screws. I'm going to install this little panel on. This goes in. We've got a little uh, knob here that goes into this cutout. That shows you how it's going to go in. I'm going to match the hole. And it's nice and tight. That was a quarter inch screw and we used the quarter inch nut driver. And now I'm going to install the ice maker back in. We're going to First, plug it in, and now we're gonna place it onto this screw first. And uh, very important detail: that tube, inlet tube, you need to place into this round cutout. And we're gonna mount it. And I'm going to install these, uh, the screw at the back of the ice maker. And the front screw also. And I'm going to install the bottom one. They all, if you remember, quarter inch. And I'm using the same quarter inch nut driver. And now we can install these uh, freezer glass shelves back in. And I'm going to place the ice bean under the ice maker and make sure that the arm is at lower position so the ice maker is turned on and now we can close the freezer door plug the fridge back in and make sure it's cooling thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by appliancepartspros.com for any of your future appliance repair projects please check out our other videos available on our site on facebook on youtube and on instagram 